Hello, I'm Austin Heisick with Mate Precision Technologies. In front of me is our 5296 work holding system featuring a modular design, quick change to help you reduce your setup times and reduce your process variability. Today, I will be recalibrating our dyno grip vise. Our dyno grip vices will always come calibrated right out of the box but if you have reversed your pushers, installed and removed the center jaw, or performed maintenance, we strongly recommend you follow this simple procedure. Your first step is going to be installing your jaws, which on the mate dyno grip vices are as easy as a click. Once you have your vice jaws installed, the next step will be to loosen your lower center support screws. and you will want to loosen them one quarter turn. You will not want to loosen your upper center support screws during this procedure. To loosen the lower center support screws, you will utilize a three millimeter hex wrench for the 52 series or a four millimeter hex wrench for the 96 series. Once you have loosened your center support screws, you will want to install your calibration pins. Once you have your calibration pins installed, you will tighten the jaws by turning the lead screw clockwise, utilizing a 12 millimeter wrench or utilizing our 12 millimeter speed wrench. You will want to tighten the jaws until they are firmly against the calibration pins and verify there is no gap between the vice jaws and the calibration pins. Once you have verified that there is no gap, you will now retighten the lower center support screws. You will torque the lower center support screws to 5.6 Newton meters or 50 inch pounds for the 52 family or 10.2 newton meters or 90 inch pounds for the 96 family once you have torqued your center support screws you will loosen the vice jaws by turning the lead screw counterclockwise you will loosen the jaws until you can remove your calibration pins which you will set aside and store for later use. That's it, it's that simple to recalibrate your dyno grip vise. There's no need to send it off to the manufacturer for calibration and there is no complex disassembly. Thank you for watching this Mate work holding tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.